present women. Like I told us, on the screen, we have uh, some tabulation in terms of a uh, lamp against their lighting design lumen. The lighting lumen, the design lumen can also be, you know, gotten from our uh, lighting design, lighting design uh, manual as, as well as the, the manufacturer's uh, catalog. I will share with us some of this during the course of uh, this class. So, if you look at what is on the screen, we are see we saw 65 watt fluorescent lamp. As of today, even if you are seeing any fluorescent, it will be LED. I'm very sure all these fittings, incandescent, they've been phased out in the world of today. What you can see is the equivalent LED type of fittings. We shall convert our, uh, you know, uh, one of the manufacturer's catalog to buttress, you know, on this. Utilization factor. This is the ratio of lumen which are received on the working plane to the total output of the lamp in the room. Now, what do we mean by working plane in the first instance? Working plane refers to that height, the horizontal height at which you are performing the activ activities that is required in that particular space. For instance, for a student, his working play will be on his table, at the table level. In the kitchen, it will be on the working, you know, working play where you are the, the, the activity, activity of, you know, chopping vegetable, you know, cutting some fish and meat or whatever, what have you, is being done. That is where their working play is defined at. I'll look at uh, in the hospital theater where a, a surgeon is, you know, carrying on a surgery process. His working plane will be at the level of the body of that particular patient that they are operating on. So I, I believe with this little sample, uh, we all understand what we mean by working plane now. Now, our utilization factor, we can also deprive this, derive this from a particular table <clears throat> that we can also relate it with from the Chartered Institute of Building Services Engineers uh, Design Manual. How to get this, I'll take us through, through that in the course of this class. And at the same time, we talked, remember what I told you about the uh, reflectance and the, uh, you know, of a particular surface. That's where we are talking about the ceiling, the finished floor level, the wall, in terms of finishing material and color. All these also affect our choice of uh, lighting design. So we shall be looking at all this in the course of the class. We also have the maintenance factor. The maintenance factor is just the, 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 the depreciation that comes on, upon any fitting that has to do with weather condition. Take for instance, uh, in any environment where there is flow of air, there are some little, little dirt, dust that goes around in the air. If I lock up a particular room for some few days, if I open it up, I'm sure we will see some uh, cobwebs around the uh, fitting some dust and uh, you know dirt must have settled on the surface of, of the fittings. All these conditions affect the fittings in terms of the, the the level of illumination that will be coming out of the fitting. So we also consider this while we are doing our uh, light fitting design. Now, for every normal condition, our maintenance factor used to be within the range of 0 0.8. For a very good air condition room that is well ventilated, we can, we can have it at uh, 0 0.9. But for areas that are prone to high level of uh, dirt and uh, dust, it can drop as low as uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So that is that. 
Now, I need us to properly go into, into our designing class properly now. So, um, in doing that, I want to take us to back to the formula again, once again. Let everybody have a good view of what the formula looks like. N, which is number of lamp or fittings required to illuminate a particular space, equals to E multiplied by A divided by light, lighting design lumen multiplied by utilization factor multiplied by maintenance factor. So I need us to understand all those abbreviations and terminologies so that when we are doing our design, you don't have to, you know, start searching for those, uh, you know, details anymore. So in that case, most of these are always readily available. And uh, the most important one has to do with the area. If you don't know the area, that is the length and breadth of the particular space relating with the, the height, then other factors cannot come into, into place. So let's take note of that. And mind you, don't forget, I've, I've, I've always told us, to every design or any design at all, the, the basic thing is for you to understand the procedures also understand the principles. Once you are okay with the procedures and principles, then you are good to go. Let them give you any question at all. You can always adopt it. And that has to do with our, our design uh, formula that we are seeing on the screen. Now we have the formula. Let it sink in our system. Let it sink in our brain. And we are good to go. So, uh, I, I, I quickly want us to look at uh, how do we get our utilization factor. Utilization factor is a derivation from what we refer to as room index. And our room index, how do we calculate it? I'm going to show us that. This is the formula for room index. The room index is is actually going to show us the, the functionality. How does light behave in a particular space in terms of uh, the dimension, which we are we are still talking about the length and breadth. Don't forget, I, I made mention about area of any space at all that we are designing for. It is very, very important. Now, room index, which is referred to as K, is equal to length times breadth all over length plus width or breadth as the case may be, multiplied by height of the fitting above the working plane. I think that is clear enough. So I will take us through an example, then we'll do a, a practical uh, you know, calculation in this regard. Let us look at the screen. Can we go through this particular lighting design example that we have on board? I think it's clearer now. It says that the general office of dimension 16 meter by 10 meters of four meter height, floor to four ceiling, has a white ceiling and light colored walls with reflection factors of 70% and 50% respectively. The working plane of the office is one meter above the floor level. It is proposed to use four by 18 watts Louvard recess fitting 
which is popularly called modular fitting in the world of today. Take maintenance factor to be 0 0.8. Determine the number of fittings required. Let us analyze this question. We are told that the length is 60 meter, the width is 10 meter, the height, which is floor to four ceiling, is three, uh, four meter, right? But in terms of calculation, we have to do with the, the, the distance between the ceiling and the working plane. That is why, if you, if you go back to the question, you were told that the working plane of the office is one meter above the floor level. That gives rise to this subtraction of one meter from four to give us three meter. Then, illumination. This has been given to us based on the value from the chartered issues of building services engineers lighting design guide in terms of office space as 400 lux. So we quickly calculate the area, which gives us 160 square meter. Foremost, we determine the room index from our formula. If you substitute those factors into this formula, it's going to give us 2.05, and which we have rounded out to be two, as the case may be. Now, taking this value, this particular value, back to the utilization factor table, relating with the fitting that was specified, we get this as our utilization factor. I'm still going to show us those uh, sample of utilization factor and uh, the lights in the course of the class. Next is to now calculate for our light fitting. All you need to do is substitute those values that you have been given. We've been given that E equals to this, 400. Our area we have calculated to be 160 square meter. Another thing that I think uh, we are not given, but we are, we are given a clue that will drive us 